Okay, so we're still looking at the uh, legal influences on human resource management. And we're going to look at different types of employment contracts. Okay, firstly, we have awards. Awards are legally binding documents containing minimum terms and conditions of employment that imply, apply sorry, to an entire industry or occupation. The awards are approved by Fair Work Australia. For example, fast food workers are covered by the Fast Food Industry Award from 2010. If you go to the Google Classroom version and click on the link that's there in blue, you can have a look at the Fast Food Industry Award. Okay, inspectors from the Fair Work Ombudsman regularly visit places to check that awards are being implemented correctly. So just because it's on a piece of paper doesn't mean it necessarily happens. So there are people whose job it is to go out and make sure that employers are doing what is required of them. Okay, recently there has been some changes with awards and Sunday penalty rates were removed from um, many sectors. Okay, so attached here you have a clip you can watch a little bit about what happened with Sunday penalty rates. Enterprise agreements are collective agreements made at a workplace or enterprise level between an employer and a group of employees about terms and conditions of employment. They must have a better off overall conditions compared to the industry award. So for example, the fast food award that we looked at just before sets out some basic conditions. Um, McDonald's has gone and done their own Australian Enterprise Agreement. So anything that's in that Enterprise Agreement for McDonald's must give better conditions to the workers than the basic fast food retail industry award does. Okay, you can have a look at the McDonald's um, Enterprise Agreement by clicking on the blue link. Again, you have to go to the Google Classroom version to click on that. Okay, so looking at wages under the McDonald's Enterprise Agreement, just at a quick glance. Now, percentage of weekly wage, we're talking about um, Australian minimum wages, okay, as set out by the government. Okay, so a worker who's 16 years of age and under is probably making about 50% of what an adult would be. If they're 17 years, 60%, 18 years, 70%. 19 years, 80 percent, 20 years, obviously, adult, they should be getting 100 percent. So in summary, when it comes to employment contracts, there are three main levels. So there's the Fair Work Act that covers every business in Australia. There's an award which covers an entire industry, such as our example, the fast food industry or an enterprise agreement which covers one business only, such as McDonald's, which we just had a look at. That would be my dog barking. Okay, um, employment contracts comparison table. I would like you to actually go to the textbook to fill this out yourself. Now, remember that the online version you have access to through Google Classroom, the page numbers do differ slightly to the physical book. My page numbers come from the physical book, so you will have to find it yourself. Can I recommend that you look at the beginning of the textbook in the PDF version, look at the index, look up human resources, look up legal, find out what page number that starts on, and then go to that page and then search through for information on awards and enterprise agreements. You are at a point in your studying career where you should be able to work out how to look up something in a book to find the information that you need. Okay, one last little clip here. 
Um, in recent times, you may have seen many things on the news, particularly about restaurants where staff have been underpaid. Um, George Colombaris Barris, one of the master chef dudes, recently got into a lot of trouble for underpaying staff at his restaurants, and I do believe they might have even closed down. Um, this is an in a Channel 9 news article about uh, looks like Heston Blumenthal, another chef who has also got in trouble for underpaying staff. This is a problem not just in restaurants, I do believe Woolworths have been picked up on it fairly recently and there are a number of different employers who have underpaid their staff. Okay, see you later.